Uh, is it the games? Oh, no. Nope. Oh, oh, right. Never request. Never request. Request. Right, request please. only. Um, Harlan, you are. Before we go, you are on, welcome to make sure oh, we go ahead, know who won everything. Uh, we've got three three segments. Gary won the third segment. Hmm. I think hmm. Harlan is going to have to. I mean. Harlan Fuck wins that guy. Yeah. Default, sure. we're gonna have I, to give I think, I think we Justin did the music. Yeah. I think Justin should win the malevolent um, segment. I'm gonna give my really? the news segment. Really? I think I won that one. No, I think I should do the news segment. That no, I think I should get the news. Yeah, Harlan gets <laughs> MVP of the news segment. Yeah, I, I right. was casually waiting. Yeah, you won well, the post news section segment you didn't as well. Wait <laughs> as well as I announced news. So yeah, and we were watching. Yeah, yeah, we were. We were. You're in the green room. I did change my sweater. Doing in there. So, uh, all right. So we have it's a score of one to one to one. All right. All right. Justin Join still has up. points, so you're gonna have to. No game. Him. I'm not on the board. I'm not yet, on the board. Not yet. not yet. All right. So, uh, I forgot. I'm playing a different game. I'm trying not to get on the board. Okay. <laughs> Me right, too. So oh, yeah. Right now, we're losing. I think. Uh, you guys need to stall a little Thanks, bit because guys. I forgot to send the script to everybody. No, there's no oh, script. Well, well, let me let me just say, let me just say, don't Harlan, stall because I don't know what's going on. Well, and you this can is the thing. It. I will explain it to you. So, the, so the next ah. uh, part is Sound Booth Theater Live requests only, which is where we take a suggestion from the audience and they vote on it throughout the the, the week, couple weeks, and uh, the the top one we we narrate a little section from. So uh, hopefully this is a scene with lots of dialogue. If it isn't, we're gonna mix things up with a different game, and uh, we just kind of mess around with the script, have some fun, and uh, do funny voices. Uh, Interesting for ways most of to it. mangle the script. Exactly, exactly. Right. So you're welcome to stick around for this. I have sure. Let's do it. I have a quick question for you, Harlan. If that's okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Shoot, shoot, shoot. You know, you say you give your your listeners and readers a choice for the next episode on like yeah. what the okay. does that has have you found that has changed the story and its direction at all? Like, Immensely. From where you thought it was going. All right. Immensely. Is that well, annoying or enjoyable? Thing, very enjoyable because I am somebody who who loves everything about doing this. Uh, the sound effects, the the voices, the writing, all of it, but has the toughest time just picking a direction to go because I think there's such and and I, I you know writers I'm sure struggle with this all the time. Not that I am one, but like the idea of having just okay, well I can do anything with this character. I can kill them off. I can make them fall in love. I can do whatever. So having that choice out of my hands is actually immensely beneficial because they just tell me oh okay he's going to shoot the guy this week perfect i can see what happens because i know the character well enough and i will write that down but i don't need to be the one to decide whether that is better than the alternative so it is so it's freeing it's great. that's awesome I love it yeah it's really nice oh you know what guys i just sent you a script oh really oh, yeah it, it, it i just decided we should uh -huh. do a segment where we let's do a segment people's requests do and... you have my email <laughs> yes i do okay it's right. from soundbooththealer live at gmail.com oh this one junk yeah. let me just unjunk yeah. it right unjunk that um okay so let's see what's going on with this we are about to read sosaku on line one crimson sands look at that cover you find something Ooh, funny there the jeffrey <laughs> there's a lot of something you want to laugh at there there is distance okay, guys, between guys, the man and those. What is, what is this? Pyramids. What is this 3D? What is this 3D art trend with like the cheapest covers possible? It's sexy. Look at the guy's thighs. Okay, mm. that He's man is going on an gentleman. adventure. All right. Oh this wait. Is, definitely, this is definitely. Um, it looks like this is a Arcade. picture of me on my trip to Egypt, Jeff. Oh, yeah. what the hell? <laughs> okay, sorry. All right. This is my uh, vacation. Well, hey, I guess Crimson I guess you sense. can take this as a compliment. Then it means that your body looks like it was modeled in a computer. He is a muscular Thank you. dude. It was. Yes. Yeah, and then they have the. He has the. I want that thing. spear. Crimson How much do you think that spear? Yeah, I would like that spear. Would go well. for it. Crimson. Depends on what it does. If it's like magic or if it's just a so light. Saku online. <laughs> book it's just a light. One. <laughs> one. Well, it's not really book though. There's like it's kind of an infinity symbol. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Holy this shit! The layers will never end. Uh, okay, mini glossary. Nice. So we have some uh, people 
and definitions and stuff. All right. K- K- Kajara. Female Kajara. moon elf. All right. Mm. Um, we got Kef. Male Saw. Main character. Yes. We have that must Puck. Be Kef on the cover. It might be. Puck. Main character. Male Saw male. child. Saw child. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, Puck is a male Saw child. All right. Uh, Ma- Maeve. Female human. Heavy Irish brogue. So oh. I think we may have already cast this person. Can what are you have, guys talking can we about? Have a, can we have an Irish version of Teresa? Yeah. I'm going to mull that over. <laughs> yeah. All, all right. right lads, on that. How are you on... doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Work on that. Uh, in your head. Lay, lay T, female saw. And Eight. saw. All right. Wait, wait. This is the name of the ancient Egyptian. Ma- Mased. Mased. Mazed. 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 I said, okay, voices, Kef, 30-something generic male voice, snarky gamer, think Kevin Smith meets Matt Mercer. Oh, fuck. Okay. Ew. They're both charming Sounds like Harlan. That sounds like Harlan. Not, <laughs> sounds like Harlan. Let's, let's give that to Harlan. Shit. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you see, that's what happens. Snarky you're, gamer. I think, that, I, think, I think you're the main character. You get the uh, the narration there, Harlan. <laughs> Fine. Oh, wait, it's, it's first it. person? I mean, it's yeah, It's first you. person. It's, I'm it, done. I mean, I, no, you gave it to me. All right. takes these backsies. Right. Uh. <laughs> Kajara is mid twenties, Japanese American gamer girl. Marisha Ray meets Olivia Munn. Does Olivia Munn speak in her roles? Oh yeah. Oh okay. She um. Did. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to do those voices. So. I I am going to step back from the role of acting, and I'm going to throw out I... accents. Yes, as you be, as you guys you narrate, be our you will be our uh, uh, Drew Carey. Drew Carey. I will be your yeah. Drew Carey baby. Yes. I will be oh, your Drew Carey. Drew Carey, Carey baby. baby. Um, I'll be your Drew Carey baby. You have to be <laughs> wah, a Drew Carey wah. baby. <laughs> yeah, yes, you do. Yes, you wah, do. wah, Cleveland rocks. Wah. There we go. And Ooh. then and then Maeve, uh, confident Irish lady in her late thirties, early forties. We are takes zero shit, heavy brogue, but it's gonna be Teresa. I mean, we don't need. We okay. Know. We know that's what we want. All right. So, setup. So, Saku Online was released with almost no information given to the public, so the players are all figuring out all of the mechanics as they go. Mysterious. I believe this scene is, I believe, day two in the game. Our intrepid adventurer and main character Kef and his newly met friend Kajara have just reached the city of Sekum. Sekum? Sekum. Sekum. I'm gonna, I, I like Sekum. 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 I like the him, country, the city of Sekum. After taking a caravan from the starting area, which, of course, was ambushed on the way by a pair of PKers and their NPC Mjord, the game course. version of Vikings, allies, their first priority is to find an inn, and for Kef, to figure out how to set his bind point. Scene! Uh, wait. Oh, okay, no, oh, that's, scene, that's, yeah. that's where the scene starts. Is, yeah. All right, so, Kef, take it away. Oh, this is me. Yeah, Lesser yep. Jeff. Yeah. <sighs> Not wanting to waste too much of Kiara's remaining playtime looking into every inn, I, I started looking for a likely guide. A minute or two later, I spotted a local kid skulking in the shadows near an alley. Based on my knowledge of normal fantasy tropes, the kid was likely a pickpocket or spotter for the Thief's Guild. Either occupation suited my purposes and would allow me to solve two problems at once if I could secure his aid. Hey, kid, I called and flipped a silver coin to him as he glanced my way. My friend and I could use a local to help us find a decent place to crash. Take us uh, to a place with a good cook, decent beds, and an honest owner, and fuck, maybe there's some gold in it for you. The kid came over and smiled. Puck here, at your service, sirrah. And the plucky goose is the place you want. Wait, I forgot our, all of my... All That's of it. My Keep going with it. You're Excitable great. male good. child. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, best cook around. Even feeds us street kids when times are tough. You'll like it, I guarantee. <sighs> Kiara looked a bit nervous, but I sent her a quick private message, sub-vocalizing it. Hey, just keep an eye out. Kid's most likely legit, but there's always a chance he's leading us to an ambush and our bloody deaths. Ha ha, funny. 
where would we even respawn? Last save spot I bound it at was in Tailva. Wait, how do you bind? When I respond, I appeared where the tutorial dropped me off. Really? You have to bind in a safe area. You're in room, a temple, whatever. You just focus on setting it as your bind point. Nothing that complicated. Noob. Ha! 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 Well then, let's just make sure we get to the rooms. And pause. Now, I'm going to ask for suggestions from the audience for um, for uh, uh, voices and accents. Uh, but we are just going to start off nice and simple and we're going to go southern. Let's make this a southern story, everybody. All right? Down south. Thank you. Keep keep it up. Puck led us east through the visitor's district until we arrived at a small city square. The architecture was a mix of the saw aesthetic and sandstone blocks, and the granite and wood more commonly seen in the west. The boy pointed toward the largest building in the square, and I saw a sign hanging in the front and laughed. <laughs> On the sign, there's a painting of a goose using its wings to cover its plucked bare nether regions, Marilyn Monroe style. There it is. Oh, it's a kid, sorry. Is it the kid? I think there so. There it is, hurrah! The plucky goose. Best place in the visitor's district. He said and head out, held out his hand. Not, not so fast, I replied. We still need to test out the food to see if you've truly fulfilled your requirements. His face fell. I saw a small spark of anger in his eyes, which faded as I continued. So, of course, you'll have to join us for dinner so you can back up your claim, little one. The kid nodded emphatically. Of course, of course, right this way. And led us into the building. The boy darted ahead of us, and I heard a woman's voice yell. Have you Irish or Southern? I think that's you. You're oh, Irish, I, Southern. Irish Southern. Oh, oh, yeah, Irish Southern. <laughs> You live in Texas, don't you? <laughs> what I tell you about coming in here during me business hours? Now get your gun or I'll give you your share of the leftovers to me, Billy. <laughs> that's, the, that's the combination. Okay, pause, 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 oh pause, pause. Oh my god, Gary is already threatening to win this segment. <laughs> oh, he's, he's got bitch. it in the bag. Um, uh, was that the end of the line? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. No. I mean, yeah. now that yeah, his yeah. accent oh. is completely incoherent, the we kind of have to guess. Piss, no. <laughs> okay, well now, now everybody is in a Monty Python movie. All right. <laughs> okay. okay. I think it's the kid at no. Uh, okay, yeah, I think so. No, Miss Maeve, I brought customers here. Here, here they are. He said, pointing us as we entered the common room. It was pretty much what one would expect from a decent inn. Wooden tables, benches, and a bar. What I didn't expect were the rows of benches against the wall, or the scantily clad women seated along those benches, and elsewhere in the room, or the innkeeper of the establishment. Correction, the madame. The kid had brought us to a brothel. I felt my cheeks flush and my face must have been quite the sight because Kara took one look at me and started cracking up. Buck was looking at us in confusion as I took my deep breath, trying to overcome my embarrassment. Oh, oh. Ow! Kara said between laughs. <laughs> Your face! You sure are not a priest in real life, Kef! Or have we discovered the kryptonite for the mighty Kef? Cleavage! <laughs> Regaining some of my composure, I responded. <laughs> I was not surprised at all. Didn't expect the kid to take us. I gestured to the room. Who, who's the... Oh, oh, that's Maeve, I think. Maeve. Oh, is it? Where is it? Oh, okay. Um, what do you mean by that, boy -o? The proprietor said. You got something against me trade? Against me girls? I raised my hand in denial. No, 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 not at all. I was expecting a normal in. And pause. All right, we are going to take a suggestion from the audience, and I saw I saw drunk leprechaun uh, <laughs> mentioned. So everybody, speak like a drunk leprechaun for the next bit. All right. And action. But this is confusion. You didn't specify an N, Sarah. But he said I held up three fingers, top top, and each in turn. You said good cook, decent beds, and an honest owner. 
The plucky goose has all of those. I, I blinked at him and thought back to our mighty. The kid had me there. I never did specify an in. I chuckled a bit and said, You got me there, kid. That'll teach me to make assumptions. I turned to Jared and offered my arm. Shall we dine? She laughed and took my arm <laughs> as we had to a table. Puck took a seat across from us and Char said, What would you recommend, Puck? And what? pause. What? We got another oh, suggestion. Too hard and too drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are going to, let's go into a Spock. You are a Vulcan. You are very serious. And all of us? I missed it. Everybody's a Vulcan. Uh, it was uh, the kid shrugged and. Run big. <clears throat> I laughed. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. She laughed. Okay. And... Oh, wait, wait, no, no. I laughed. The kid, shrugged. Okay. The kid, the kid shrugged. shrugged. The kid shrugged. The kid shrugged and said, I'm not too picky, but I'm guessing the fresh food will taste a hundred times better than the scraps, and the scraps are the best I've ever had, so anything? I laughed and called over the proprietress. What's on the menu this evening, Miss Maeve? She ignored my question, naturally. And spoke to Kiara instead. Probably uh, st keep going, sorry. Probably a bit, still a bit insulted by my earlier awkwardness. And pause. Uh, we're, you're going to be a crow. You're going to be a crow uh, for the next little while. All right? And action. Not me. I've got a couple of helping to shepherd pie left. Sausages! Or a bit of roast beef, 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 beef. Meal comes with bread and butter, but what could ail be a meat? Or even some wine, wine, wine. If you're looking to spend some extra <laughs> coin. And pause. 1920s mobsters, go. Yeah, Car considered a second and settled on the shepherd's pie and beer, but Puck spoke up. I want the roast beef, see, Miss Maeve, with lots of bread and butter and a beer. Yeah, the woman looked to Kara, who nodded and again said, We'll pay for his meal. Glancing at the kid, who couldn't be more than twelve. But are kids his age supposed to have beer? She asked. Maeve shook her head. I'll bring him some water down ale. Nice try, though, lad. She winked at Puck and turned to me. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. And what'll you have me? And what'll you have me fine establishment, eh, boy? All. I'd ah, like the. No, that's you. me, right? No, it's yeah, me. Man. Yeah, I'd like the shepherd's pie as well, with beer. And again, I'm sorry about before. It was just, I was just surprised. You have a lovely... And pause. Oh, sorry, go ahead. go ahead. Oh, there you go, okay. Uh, pause. Everybody is Sean Connery. Take it away. She sniffed and walked back to the kitchen. I glanced up and saw a shy woman seated on one of the benches glancing my way. The robe she was wearing had just happened to fall open at the front, <laughs> revealing the inner curves of her bosom and I, in a torn, tattooed stomach. I yanked <laughs> my gaze upward and saw her bright red lips curl to small smile, her cold, darkened eyes glinting mischievously in contrast to her golden skin. I wrenched my, wrenched my gaze away and <laughs> felt myself turning bright red. I looked over and saw Kiara staring at me. Uh, what's wrong, Kef? She teased, looking over at the woman. Cleopatra <laughs> over there, trying to make you her mark, Antony. I hung my shagging, thick head and said, <laughs> I just want to eat, get a room, and then head to the temple. Is that so much to ask? <laughs> Some things are just not for me, and NPCs are one of them, regardless of how tempting the UI may be. Okay, and pause, okay. on pause. Everyone is going to be Ash from Pokemon. Ash. I don't know. I okay, what okay. Like. Do what Jeff just like. did. Okay. <laughs> she said. I was just teasing. The blushing is just too much to resist. Puck turned around and saw the woman who had been making eyes at me and waved to her. She closed her robe subconsciously and waved back at the boy with a normal smile. Her seductor's mask replaced one of the one of genuine affection. He turned back to me and grinned. Ah, the 
Cat's lady. She lets me crash in her room sometimes when she's out for the night. She's a nice lady, even if she can't figure out how to keep her robes tied right. <laughs> <laughs> Maeve brought her food, and after the first bite, I was hooked. The shepherd's pie made all the other food I had tasted so far, like last week's leftover tacos. And pause. The last little bit, Harlan and whoever's got that dialogue, you are going to be reading this as Gregorian chant. And feel free to join <laughs> everybody uh, as, uh, as we wrap this up. Pork practically unheld is food, and I motioned for me to have to bring another plate, which disappeared almost immediately. When we were done, I grinned at the boy and said, That's still you. The boy. Oh, that's me, sorry. You were right all along. The food was amazing. Harmony ever. <laughs> great chance. <laughs> and Steve. Good job, everyone. That was fun. Very nice, everyone. Holy. I, I, I have I no idea what happened. Sagging thick head has to win. <laughs> yeah, dude. That was, <laughs> yep. I mean, like, that, was, that, brought you guys, that brought you guys neck and neck, in my opinion. Uh, uh, so that one for me, that? I think. I, I give it to Harlan. You I give it to Harlan too. for the for the shagging. Thank you. Votes. Because I, I, mean, I mean, I'm leaning towards Gary. I'm leaning towards Gary. Well, it's unfair oh. because I also <sighs> had the vast majority of the lines. That's so. True. But the way, like sagging. Oh thick. God, that was. <laughs> it was like it had texture to it. <laughs> I think it was good. I it really did. I, it, it conjured an image, my, you know. I think you guys do this. I I think I feel like I held my own with oh, you guys. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Like, yeah, definitely. I have never yeah. read and and acted at the same time. That's the first time I've ever like read it at the cold same read. time. As they call oh, then you definitely cold win. Read. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cold I think cold. I think with that in mind. We'll, we're going to have to give you the victory. Yeah, no, this yeah. is the first time. In that I case, heard. that brings Harlan up to two. Harlan is our victor tonight, everybody. Wait, wait, wait. no, nope. two one, one. We still have Gary's game. We still. Oh right, have right. Okay, game. we don't. We don't have a victor. I take it back. Yeah. So back. Gary, you, you, Gary, both Gary and I are still in the running. We might. Oh, I'm not in might, the running. At Depending least the tie. The tie for. Fun. But I'm winning at my game. <laughs> You're the best, Drew Carey. Winning my own. Game. <laughs> 